Greetings, YouTube. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I was debating this with my subscribers last night and viewers on my live stream, but my favorite champion this far, this year, is Lady Deathstrike. And I have this tradition, I'm doing this right now, where when it's not event quest completion, and it's not going to be for a few days, right now we've got level up going on, hence this video, in, uh, in the contest, and then we've got arena wins after, and then we've got event quest completion. I save... Cavalier and Thronebreaker difficulties for event quest completion points. I view it as like getting cash back for completing paths that you would normally complete. I've also learned that even when I've explored everything, the smartest thing to do with your energy is just to clear the easiest path to the final Thronebreaker. <coughs> Excuse me. Path. Apparently I'm allergic to Thronebreaker. I keep sneezing. Uh, anyhow, so I start with Uncollected and then I warm up. Well, now I used to be four stars that I could play around with new champions, but now, with the new awesome, when it's not bugged, arena reward setup, instead of having the 4 star as the best champion, I can oftentimes grind for the featured 5 star. And that's exactly what happened with Lady Deathstrike. And I'm going to do something I haven't really done all year. I'm going to be excited to take a 5 star, a 5 star, straight to max rank. And I know that that is not necessarily the content that people care about, right? But I think one of my goals, like don't tell me five stars are dead. Don't tell me that they're irrelevant. I have still seen with 565 five stars, with especially the best counters, um, I've seen them melt any defender. I mean, seriously. It's, um, it's still possible to become Paragon with five stars? Easily. It's still possible to explore the Abyss with five stars? It's still possible to just clear any content. Now, I agree to those people who speak up and say, yeah, but what about special circumstances? Like, for example, Battlegrounds and Alliance War. Well, in that case, I think, objectively speaking, you just have to say five stars can't be brought in against similar matchups with people who have at least rank three six stars but of course now we're not just talking about rank four six stars we're talking about max rank uh, rank five six stars and rank two seven stars so when you have a timed match yeah five stars aren't going to do it anymore this of course also applies to alliance war but i'm not talking about that for the sake of this video i'm specifically referring to uh the ability to get through content that isn't timed, which most content isn't timed, with five stars. Because, yeah, it might take you another, let's just say 50 hits. Let's say it takes you 50 more hits. Well, if you're fighting well and you have the right skills, you're not going to be knocked out, chances are. You're, the fight's just going to be a little bit longer. So that's what I kept saying, too, very importantly, when it came to how many people panicked and wanted to quit and probably still are considering quitting after how much rosters got jacked up, including my own, from July 4th week in sales. Like, I totally understand the annoyance and the, um, the fear that suddenly you're just going to be left behind. But even if your best champs are five stars, I, I'm just a believer in their value. And I think Kabam is too, which is why they intentionally, uh, going all the way back to Act 6, they intentionally started banning them, particularly for synergy purposes. But, you know what? Didn't matter. It still worked out. And now, they went against that. And I'm telling you, the best of the best five stars... Some of the ones in front of you, Warlock, Nimgod, Infamous Iron Doom, in this case. By the way, Lady Deathstrike, a little deceiving on her PI because she's only sick 20. I just had her awaken from the arena and that's it. But, don't tell me five stars are dead. Don't, don't tell me. Um, Lady Deathstrike's my favorite champ this month. I know her health is not fantastic, which was the debate last night in the live stream. But... Between the heel block and the bleeds, she just she's really fun to play. And I don't even really know the proper rotation with her yet. 
I don't even care about things like intercepts when I play out champions. I, I, I'm a parry guy. But just the basic, like, she makes it fun. She makes the game more fun. And to me, that's why I play it. Especially after, geez, eight years of playing this game, you know? Um, all right, YouTube, have a good one. Don't tell me five stars are dead. Thanks for watching.